Welcome to another Dark Nook video. These are glass cabochon eyes. The term cabochon refers to a gem that's been polished, but not cut with any facets. It has a rounded dome on one side, and it's flat on the other side. I'll be painting the eye detail on the flat side. I'm using enamel paint, but you can use acrylics too. I start by painting the pupil in black, and once that's painted on, I leave it to dry completely. Now these are the eyes that appear to follow you, and I'm going to show you why. This effect happens because the cabochon acts like a lens. It distorts the light passing through it like a magnifying glass. Here, you can see the image of my ring light focused through the lens. Now when I turn the cabochon to the side, you can see the distortion makes the pupil seem to float in the center of the glass, even though it's just painted flat on the bottom. This effect happens anytime you look at the lens off-center, which makes the pupil appear to be moving, when really it's just you that's moving and your perspective that's changing. Now once the pupil is dry, then I start adding colors. But I don't want to let the colors dry completely, so I'll paint them on while the paint is still gummy I'll scrape it with a toothpick and then with a needle to scratch little lines into the paint. These scratches will allow for the next color I add to show through, but only in the places where I scratched away the paint. So the next color I use will be a nice bright color, so that high contrast will show up nicely, since these are only going to be small little scratches. Though you can use whatever colors you want. And you can repeat this process as many times as you want to get the look that you're happy with. Now, if you don't want to paint an eye on the back of the cabochon, you can also do this a different way. Simply print out a picture of an eye and glue it to the back of the cabochon. I use a clear glue. PVA school glue works just great. Just smear it around the back of the cabochon and make sure there's no bubbles. Then. Press the picture of the eye firmly to the back of the cabochon. Make sure it's centered, and then just set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, take a little pair of scissors and trim off any excess paper. For the dragon eye, I repeat the scratching process one more time so I can add a third color, this time a brighter red. And I also add in some more black paint to cover any areas of the pupil that I may have scratched into unintentionally. And for the other eyes, I use white acrylic paint on the rest of the back to create the white of the eye. And here they are. Quick, easy, glass cabochon eyes. That you can use in your projects to add that little extra something. If you like this video, please hit like, comment down below, click that subscribe button. Thanks for checking out my video.